welcome to Bologna. We are in the Piazza Maggiore, here in the most central square in all of the city. Behind me is the Basilica di San Petronio, which is the central and most imposing basilica in the whole city. Let's go explore. Here next to Neptune's fountain is the Palazzo Re Enzo. It takes its name from Enzio Sardinia, who was prisoner here from 1249 until his death in 1272. In the ancient times, towers like these used to dot the whole city because powerful families would compete with each other as to who could build the larger and the taller one. Today there are only 22 remaining and the two most famous ones are the ones behind me. When they would build them, they would have to dig down 5, 10, 15 meters into the ground level to try to make sure that the towers had a solid enough base. And if you look at this one, it's actually leaning. Someday it'll probably fall. Anytime you see a building with wooden columns like this, it probably means it's a historic building and especially something from the medieval times. This one is especially interesting because it's called the Palazzo Isolani, one of the most posh buildings that still exists today. And actually it's still owned by the Isolani family. There's a really cool story, almost like a legend. The original nobleman who used to live here back in the ancient times suspected that his wife was cheating on him. He hired a couple of assassins, they were parked here, and they waited for his wife to pop up out of one of those windows. Come evening time, she actually did. Two of them fired arrows, but they missed. Third one hit her, she passed away, but I'm gonna show you where those arrows are still located. As you walk around Bologna now, you'll notice a lot of international tourists. Well, a thousand years ago, the city was built on canals. Goods passed from the Adriatic coast all the way to the other coast, and so you would have seen the same people from all over the place conducting business here. 